Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we have three great issues to talk to you guys about today. Uh, Fish Acid rain. Yes. Uh, poverty. <laughs> wow. oh. I cannot wait to review poverty. Oh, my God. Well, poverty, I feel like the continuity of poverty has been really weird lately. Uh, yeah. Alex made us take our glasses off. Just so <laughs> people know. Yeah, uh, hopefully this looks better to you guys. You know, we've been talking about uh, making improvements. Now we actually have lights, real lights. And we've improved your people. vision. Yeah. So, well, who said that? <laughs> guys, today we're going to talk about Marvelous Land of Oz, Can't number one, Stump, Stump Town, number one, and The Great Ten, number one. So let's kick things off with The Marvelous Land of Oz, number one. This is following up on the wonderful Wizard of Oz series. Of course, oh, yeah, great. Uh, mm -hmm. Also by Eric Schenauer and Scotty Young. Yeah. Uh, I love that series personally. What do you guys think about this first issue? This was fantastic. I mean, really picked up where the other one left off as far as art and creativity. <laughs> Oz. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that too. But I just, it's such a cool uh, book, especially with uh, all the other books that I buy. It's just a fun, refreshing book. It's so imaginative, and it just whisks me away to a magical place. Oh, wow. Awesome. Also, uh, yeah, yeah. I I think the art's fantastic. The story, um, it's so explainy. It's like, this is this, and this is this. What is this? This is purple. Well, it's a little kid. <laughs> he, that's no, what they like do. That. They like explain. It's very, what I think is great about these books is that it captures the feelings of the books, but Scotty Young takes it and reimagines it and makes it really work as a comic book as yeah. well. Yeah, I agree. And I like your, I'm saying that art is sure. amazing. It's just it seems so like, da 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 what it is. Well, that's what but kids I think do. That captures, that captures the feel of the books. Well, because it's made of words. Yes. All words. Yes. You know how uh, different authors write in different ways? I don't get this. Okay. I think this is amazing. Uh, this is, I think, one of uh, the best things that Marvel is publishing today. No, I mean, I take your point. Uh, it's in the same style. Yeah. But uh, I think that, that uh, I want to see a little it be a little more spare in the comic book form. Sure. Uh, use the art more as a storytelling device rather than being like beautiful art and also words on top. Okay, I think that's fair. Uh, I will say, though, that the other thing that I think is great about this book, in particular this number one issue, is with The Wizard of Oz, there was a certain sense of, you know the story so well from having seen right. the movie or right. the play or read the book or whatever else. <laughs> started uh, the musical. Right, started yeah. the musical. A lot of musical stars watch the show. Yeah, I was, what were you? I was a munchkin. Huh? <laughs> I was the cowardly lion. Oh, oh that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Why? Anyway, right. Wait, why does that make sense? sense? This is a less star. familiar I'm... story, and I, I think it's cool to get in on this because you'll feel more like you're reading something new. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so pick that up. Very good. All right, Great. let's move on and talk about Stump Town at number one by Greg Rucka uh, in a world that he is very familiar with. Uh, some of yeah. you probably only know him really from his superhero writing. Yeah. I, I think he's actually, in a way, much better known for his crime writing, uh, Queen of Country, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you way. think about this first issue? Well, i got to say I'm a big fan of Stumptown Coffee, uh, which you didn't really have a lot of that in here. So yeah, no. Really well, I actually I bought some Stumptown Coffee, and I poured it in my issue. Oh. That's a bad it, idea. It made it a little hard to read, but it was delicious. Why would you oh. destroy art? Um, I felt like this... Th I really appreciated the artisticness of this. There was a lot of really... Great panels, like setting up tone and storytelling without any words, uh, like you were talking about before. Yeah. Uh, but I, the hardest thing for me in this issue was like at the end of it, I was like, eh? uh, <laughs> I, I still didn't like the girl. Uh, she's the main character, and I've, I gotta get behind what's happening. And it's a little choppy as far as timeline. But it's just, I need something in there that, like, okay, I'm, I care whether or not this girl lives or dies. It is for, yeah, for those of you who didn't pick it up, just very quickly, it's like a noir version of Scout. Go on. Uh, yes, that's true. Um, uh, Female-centered. Uh, uh, it is a little confusing because there is some time dashing. But I, I really liked it. I think it's yeah. a nice start. The character's likable. It reminded it's me of not, Alias a little bit. The character's not likable. Yeah, that's my she point, is. is what I was saying before. I uh, do think she is likable. Yeah. What what exactly do you like about that she doesn't Here's talk to thing. her brother? You're she on treats like her she brother does, like she loves her brother. No, she does. She she's like whatever brother. guy. I'm she out of here. Brother. Yeah. No, and he's like, can I play video games? Like, he should be able to play video games in his own. He shouldn't have to ask her. She's in and out of his oh, life. It's for you guys barely know, there. Pete grew up on the island of Pinocchio, where you can do whatever you want, <laughs> and then he turned into a donkey. Um, yeah. Huh? You had me until I turned into a donkey. You had me a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this is a great issue. It was yeah. really well done. The only uh, caveat that I would put is it's very straightforward noir. You know, yeah. it hits all of the beats, which is pleasing in a certain sense dramatically, little, yeah. but it, it feels a little yeah. hackneyed here. When the guy's daughter, the rich guy's daughter's like, I'm a minx. I was like, all right, we get that. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. But didn't you uh, really... When she fell into the water and then the birds flew away? I mean, come on. Nice, the very art nice. is spectacular here, and Greg Rucka is definitely working in a genre he's very comfortable in. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it reminded me of Alias, is what I was trying to say before Pete was like, kids are, should do whatever they want. 
Free you know, candy. Uh, you know that you're uh, greedy. You know, know that you know that her brother's a little mentally challenged. Yeah. Right? Don't, yeah. Don't. Whatever. It doesn't matter. She could still be nicer to him. <laughs> Playing cool guys. Playing real cool. All right. Let's move on. Uh, last but not least, we're going to talk she about. Be nice to the guy. <laughs> Nice she is not. That's huh? my point. We treat everyone on the show equal, given yeah. the difference. Pete, if you want to play video games, you can. Yeah. Great Ten, number one. Wow. <laughs> oh, bye, Pete. Yeah. Great Ten, number one. Uh, this is following up, of course, on 52, which happened yeah. 15 years ago, <laughs> right? So it's really exciting <laughs> to see these characters coming back in this way. To move forward in a way. Well, what's nice is it's called Great Ten, and there are 10 issues. So Whoa! Like really wow. good. Congrats. The slow clap and do it. Yeah. Which yeah did you see? Uh, great uh, numbering. How to count? The numbering editor. The <laughs> you numbering know, editor. You know how great. number many numbers fifty two is. You know yeah. how many numbers ten That's is. That's what I'm saying. It's Whoever's running the numbers over there has got it. This is my big problem with Blackest Night is that I don't know how many numbers it is. Yeah. <laughs> it was called six or seven. How many numbers? Is this? <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> What is but Marvel's all, it's like 600 this, 900, they're all over the place. No good numbers. <laughs> they don't have a good numbering. Excuse either. me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last show because I've died. Oh. Blarg! And that's our review of The Great Ten. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your review is a big pile of phlegm that you just caught. Oh. Uh, I like this a lot. I like yeah. the art. The uh, art's fantastic, and I also appreciate the border art as well. The uh, stuff in like between the... the border art. I am. I'm a sucker for stuff in between the panels. You know, it's extra it's unfortunate, actually, I think, that this is being tied so closely to 52. I've been thinking about yeah. this a lot this week, how marketing affects... Uh, comic books in wow. a certain way. Oh, wow. Pikachu? Yes, great. Great, huh? yeah, that's great. That's a, a great way to do a follow up. I thought it was your sirens that did all the things <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah, that's where my brains are. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> when you cut them shorter, there you get a it's lot of It's unfortunate that that is tied into something and it feels like it's old news because otherwise, Tony Dard, as usual, is doing a really solid, really good job. He's doing yeah. yeoman's work. Tony this Bedard. feels very much to me like Rebels, but set in China. Yep. We're almost down to the structure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I like it. We're going to meet each character separately and get into the backstory while there's this overarching story uh, with these gods returning, Chinese gods returning to Earth. Yeah, um, I thought it was really well done with the flashback and flash forward. I thought it was it wasn't confusing. It really helped uh, push the story. They're like a, a legion that doesn't get along. Sort of. If you want something different, I would say search this out and pick it up. Yeah, you guess? Uh, yeah. a little bit different. Uh, it's like, I love when the little guy whistles and there's a little musical note. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scarf talking. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Pete, what is your... Uh, I have my sideburns. He has a scarf. What's your thing? I used to have glasses, but I'm oh, also... Oh, so now you can't think? You're yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm uh, if you uh, have a question for us, you can write us at comicbookclublive at gmail.com. Popcultureshock.com slash comicbookclub. Twitter.com slash comicbooklive. iTunes, Comic Book Club Live. Or you can download these very episodes. Boop. Tuesdays, Boop. New York City, 8 o'clock, People's Improv Theater. We love to see you at our live show. It's a lot of fun. Let's just shave these down a little bit and see what weird thing we say. <laughs> I like how you're holding I, out your ring like you have a... <laughs> can I play a video game? Wow, I just touched your No. <laughs> How does it feel? One, two.